Hey everybody, I'm Chris. I'm the community manager here at Build a Music School. And hey, I'm Mel. I'm the business operations manager here. We have actually worked with Johnny Wilson, the owner of Build a Music School, for many years prior to working here with him. And uh, in fact, I worked with him for about six years at his music academy, Good Time Music Academy. And what about you? I worked with Johnny for about 18 months and had known him and worked with him on a bunch of projects for probably another five years prior to that. So we've actually got a lot of experience working with this guy called Johnny and and uh, he doesn't know this, but we have conspired to do a little video about 10 things that we have actually learned from working with Johnny that we think that you could probably apply to your music school and even the way that you view leadership. What do you reckon, Mel? All right, shall we do it? Here's our top 10 things. There is always a better way to do something. Now, in my time with Johnny, I have observed that he loves to find ways to improve things all the time. And uh, one of the roles that I had at Good Time is that I was in charge of the school team, going out and doing school shows, and Johnny would be consistently trying to find ways to improve those things uh, that we would do in school. So sometimes he'd be like, hey, why don't we print a whole bunch of stickers so that every kid gets a sticker? Or why don't we add some cool prizes to the show? Or what about adding in some great games? And there was always something that Johnny would tell us that we could think about improving. So a lot of the time that stuff happened just because he would ask us, you know, what can we do to improve? So I think that was definitely one thing I learned. There's always something better you can do. Leadership trumps management. One of the really important lessons that I learned from Johnny was around this. And at Good Time, leadership was viewed as a leader is someone who can motivate and inspire people to be the best they can. Um, leaders empower people to get results that they would not have gotten on their own. And a leader's influence is not given by authority, but it's earned through genuine influence. And Johnny really modelled and lived that ideal in everything he did, always providing opportunities for success and growth of his staff and the really amazing thing that came from that was that the people that worked with Johnny they became highly valued in all that they did and they became these amazing assets and leaders in their own right. The next top tip we learned from working with Johnny Wilson was that systems are king. The only way to make sure that things worked really well at Good Time Music Academy was by having excellent systems. And I actually learned this the hard way one time when I turned up for a school show and our team, my team, had forgotten to pack the snare drum for the drum kit. And of course we had 600 kids waiting for us to do a show and uh, a snareless show is not a great show. So when I fed that back to Johnny, he was like, you know, uh, we need a system. We need to get a checklist system so that we make sure that everything we need to pack for a show is in there ready to go. And so I, from, that, from that day on, I made sure that I had a system for checklists and that had a really great ripple effect of actually making us more efficient as a team. So that was a fantastic thing that I learned is that actually your systems are really, really important. They are the king and they are the most important thing that you can do to keep your music school running really effectively. It's easier to teach skills than attitude. Now, I'm certainly not suggesting that technical skills are less important than attitude. Skills are an important prerequisite for hiring staff, especially teaching staff, but the right attitude can greatly increase your staff's success in the role. In Johnny's own words, it's no myth that we hire for character as much as we hire for competency, because we are passionate about seeing young people motivated and inspired from our team. We only want people that are good role models carrying out this work. So this means we're not gonna always hire the best musician in town. If we think they only want the job for the money. We want people who are passionate about why we do what we do, not the what that they can get out of it. If hiring based on attitude is so valuable, and we believe it is, what specific attributes should you be looking at when you're hiring your next staff member? We believe it to be commitment, adaptability, accountability, initiative, willingness to learn, willingness to collaborate, problem solving skills, camaraderie, and integrity. You can think bigger with a bigger team. When Johnny began hosting his leadership board meetings at Good Time Music Academy, uh, it was great to be part of those, but that's when we started seeing explosive growth because we had more ideas and more people and more brains at the table to help us take things forward. So Johnny would always invite us to share our opinions about um, uh, certain ideas that he'd had. And one of the big, I remember one meeting, we had a big problem. We had one school who wanted to have music lessons. They wanted to get the music bus in. We didn't actually have space. So we thought, how can we service the school? 
that was a big conversation we started and uh, he was like, you know, what, what, are there any other solutions to this that we haven't thought of? And I remember saying, hey, uh, you know, why don't we ask the school if we can maybe host a little, a little prefab, pre-made room on, on the school grounds. And that became what we called the Music Box Program, which essentially meant that we had a special dedicated space that we hired to put on the school grounds uh, and our tutors could come in there and teach hundreds of students every week. So that was a great solution to a problem, but uh, we couldn't have had that solution if we had not sat around the table and talked to each other and asked for candor and also um, you know, input into tricky problems. So you can always think bigger with a bigger team. Strong team culture leads to strong business success. Good Time had one of the strongest team cultures of anywhere I've worked, and I'm really excited that that has carried on and flowed here to build a music school. The culture was developed by the team, written down so it could be reflected on and conveyed to new team members as they joined. We held termly conferences, and areas of the culture would be spotlighted and spoken to the coming together of the whole team for the conference strengthened the culture. Also, as everyone had an opportunity to contribute to planning, hear the vision for the next term, and join in for creative activity as well. My personal favorite part of the conference was where the whole team was given the opportunity to brag on someone else. This was where you could stand up and tell the team as a whole about something another team member had done that you thought was awesome didn't matter how big or small it was, and then you got to give them a block of chocolate as thanks. This was the perfect chance for me to thank a colleague that always turned the heater on in my office before I arrived so that my office was nice and warm. Passionate workers produce creative, innovative work with higher team satisfaction. In this way, team culture is the key to developing employees happy enough to create their best work, and thus, your company can push your goals and tread new ground more efficiently. Making your students the focus of your music school is the key to bringing about explosive growth. A good time, particularly in the later years as we grew to about 2,000 students, the culture that Johnny had nurtured uh, was one that was really centered around students. So that meant that when you came into the waiting room, there would be games that you could play. There'd be a foosball table, there'd be like giant wooden puzzles, and coloring in books. You could tell as soon as you walked in that students were really the center of everything that was happening at good time. And of course, when families were there, they felt like their kids were being looked after. And then if families are happy that their kids are being looked after, they will talk to other families. So that was one of the ways that we made sure that word got out, is that we really looked after students and made them feel like they were the celebrity and the star of Good Time Music Academy. Um, if you added to that all the things like the homework books and the prizes and the opportunities to perform in public, it became pretty clear that we were really student focused. And that student-centered culture, that was one of the biggest key factors in building the largest music school in New Zealand. Never stop learning. Johnny has invested a vast amount of time in his own professional development, whether it be devouring books or enrolling in courses, and he was always really generous with the information he learned. Johnny wanted his team to value this self-improvement for themselves and encouraged the following. Whether you're here for a year or 10 years, we want you to walk away more skilled, more passionate and more professionally developed than when you arrived. We strive to develop leaders. This is done in many ways from casual conversations to regular observations or even performance reviews and conferences. But whatever it is, always improving your staff, that's the key. You don't have to have everything perfect to start, but you have to start if you want anything to be perfect. There were plenty of times when I would team up with Johnny and we would say to each other uh, on a new project, man, a million dollars would make all the difference on this, but we didn't have that. So sometimes we just had to start a project in order to get to where we wanted it to go. And occasionally we would get to the end of a project and go, right, this is the minimum viable product. We can actually put this to market and sell it and it's going to be fine. It's not quite where we want it to be, but we can build on that. And actually, uh, the Rad Rhythm Program is definitely a great example of how we did that. We started off with something and over the next few years, we actually built it into something really, really special. Um, there was one particular project we were working on which didn't quite have that happen for and uh, it was a little bit disappointing when we kind of put it out for market testing and it didn't quite fly the way we wanted it to. But we are now light years ahead of where we were when we started and that is still something that we can go back to, in fact we're planning to go back to and redevelop so that um, we can learn from our mistakes. But sometimes you just got to start 
and Johnny was someone who taught me how to start. Surround yourself with an amazing team. Johnny recognized himself as an entrepreneur, the ideas man, and he employed people with strengths that added to his bow. Everyone believed in the mission of the business and actively pushed toward it. When you empower your staff, they can take an idea forward without fear, and that's where the magic happens. That's our top 10 things that we learned from working with Johnny Wilson. Thanks for watching. Yeah, hopefully you found a tip or two that you can apply to your business and improve your team culture and leadership. Thanks, everyone. See you later.